Hello everyone and welcome. Last episode we spent our time building this little orbiter that you see here and installing on it RCS in preparation for our first docking with our brand new Kerbin Space Station. And that's what this episode is going to be about, docking. In fact, we're going to do three separate dockings to represent three different situations that can easily come up in your game. But the basic principles is always the same. You want to make sure that you are moving in the right direction. So we're going to spend some time talking about how to make sure that is the case. We're also going to look at making sure our docking ports are lined up properly and how we can tell. And we're going to take a look at the nav ball and how the icons on our nav ball can help us get the job done. As for this here, well, of course, we're performing a rendezvous to get to Kerbin Station, as that is something we have talked about before. All I'm going to provide here is a very quick refresher. The station is in a 120 kilometer circular orbit, so I'm right now inserting myself into an 80 kilometer orbit. As we're in the lower orbit, we'll be going faster, so I made sure at launch to launch so that the station was a little bit ahead of us so that we will catch up. We then set up our home and transfer to get up to the altitude of the station. And after performing the transfer and getting ourselves within a few minutes of our closest approach to the station, we begin herding that retrograde icon onto the target icon while at the same time reducing our relative speed with the station. And if you need a little bit more than what was in that quick refresher, don't hesitate to take a look at the video that I devoted to this topic, but what I want to talk about right now is docking. Okay, so we're closing in here on the station. Station's still a few minutes away, but I'm going to do a very deliberate quick save here because I want to take a little bit of time um, to show you different ways in which you can perform the docking. We'll start with the easiest and make our way to the more challenging because your situation can differ and you might not have the easiest options available. I'm going to actually slow myself down with RCS just a little bit more by pressing the H key. I want to give myself some time to talk to you. <laughs> Closest approach is still about three minutes away. Okay. The biggest challenge when it comes to docking is to take the two docking ports and to line them up. Not to get the two vessels together. That's actually pretty easy or relatively easy. It's getting those docking ports to actually come together and line up with each other properly. Here's the easiest way in which to do that. I'm going to use the bracket keys to switch over to the station. We're going to pick one of our docking ports to aim from. Let's go for, for this one here. And we're going to say control from here. You always, when you're docking, want to control from the docking ports. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch or not switch to this, but aim the camera at the incoming vessel. Now, sometimes it might be a little hard to right click. You got to click on a part. It can get a little tricky. If you scroll out here, where is that? There it is. If you can get yourself to the camera where you can just click on anything, it's fine. There we go. And we're going to hit aim camera. Boom. There we go. And then what I want to do is select the other docking port and set it as a target. So now the docking port on the station has this docking port as its target. I want to reset the camera. You can do that in two ways. One, you can click on the part you originally clicked on and say reset camera. If you're having trouble doing that, just aim the camera at a new part and notice how reset camera comes up automatically. That puts the camera back to the vessel that we're currently controlling. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to aim oh, the other way. <laughs> This is hard to tell which way. There we go. This way. We want to aim towards the other vessel. And notice we have here a purple icon. This is our target icon. And I want to put this docking port right on that purple icon. So now this docking port right here is aimed straight at that docking port. Okay, let's quickly switch to the other vessel because I feel like we're coming in pretty quick. We're only 21 seconds away. So let's slow down a little bit more with RCS. Increase that time. There we go. We're almost two minutes away again. All right. Now we want to do the same thing with this vessel. So we're going to select this docking port. We're going to say control from here. We're going to go to our station. We're going to switch our camera to the station. And again, the reason why I'm switching the camera and not the vessel is because I want to still control this vessel 
but I want to do some things on this vessel. <laughs> We're going to aim the camera at our station. There we go. We're going to now select this docking port here, right there. If it's select, there it is. We're going to set that as a target and then we're going to hit aim camera so we get our reset camera option. We're going to reset back to here and now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to swing this vessel around and we're going to put the target, put it right on the other target icon. So now these two vessels are aimed exact, or the two docking parts are now aimed exactly at each other. We've now taken care of the most difficult thing. Now, let's take a look at our nav ball here. Notice our prograde vector is actually below our target icon. The prograde vector is showing you which way you're actually going. So it's very clear here we're missing our target. So what we're going to use is we're going to use the I, J, K, and L keys to get that prograde vector onto our target. And I can see I have to press the K key. Move that up like that. And then I'm going to use the L key, move it to the right. Okay, there we go. So now when this is all lined up, we have our ship icon, which is the little orange bird type icon, our purple target icon again, which is really this docking port, and our prograde icon, they are all lined up. We are going straight in. We're about 30 seconds away. I know it's tempting now to just thrust forward, but that's what time warp is for. Let's time warp some of that time away. Also, what I find helps is if I actually select anywhere around the docking port and aim the camera there, it gives me a really good view of our approach. Normally, the camera is centered on the, the center of mass of the vessel, but this brings your camera up nice and forward. Now, we're coming in kind of quick, so I'm going to use the N key to slow myself down. I like to come in pretty slow, like around 0 0.3, 0 0.2 meters per second, right here. Again, I'm gonna use the I and the J key. I'm noticing my vessels come off a little bit from its target, that's okay, I can move that. Again, now it's just really a matter of steering this in. Okay, it might slow down just a little bit more. Again, that's the N key to slow down. And it takes a little bit of practice, especially to get used to the keys. So don't let that bother you. And again, it's just about keeping all three of those icons lined up and we're just about to kiss and there we go. And you probably notice right at the end, there's a bit of a, a, a kind of a magnetic force. <laughs> so I think they're, they're meant to be magnets in there to try and kind of suck them together. That's the game trying to help you out with putting some sort of powerful magnets into the docking port to try and pull them together right there at the end in case you had that not lined up perfectly. But there we go. We are docked. We are at our station. So that was method number one. We're going to have two more, but that was the easiest one. Let's say, let's go back to our quick save. All right. So now we're into method number two of three that I'm going to show you. Let's uh, switch back to the station. So I'm using the bracket key, switching back to the station. This station being very, very small is pretty easy for me to adjust its attitude and move it around any direction that I want. That made that other method that we had fairly viable, but perhaps your station's not like that. Perhaps your station has grown. You've attached all kinds of modules. It's a big, massive thing that's hard to adjust its attitude for. In fact, perhaps it's a whole pile of modules all connected together, and when you start turning it around, you find that it gets all wobbly and wonky. You don't want to mess with it too much. So let's talk about putting the, vet, the station into an orientation that is conducive to docking and then just leaving it that, that, that way for, for the rest of its lifetime. So this thing's got two docking ports. They're pointing in opposite directions. That's always a good idea, as you'll see in just a moment. And I'm going to select this docking port once again, and I'm going to control it from here. I'm gonna, this is going to be the, the docking port I'm going to go for. Okay. And what's a good orientation for this? Well, the problem is, is as you orbit around, you'll notice that you're heading here the direction in which your, your vessel is pointing is always changing. Okay, we do a little bit of time warp. Yeah, it just changed there from 302 to 301. It's always changing. And that's true for every direction except for one. Well, really two. The normal and the anti-normal direction. If I point this ship icon onto my normal vector, remember that's the purple triangle icon. 
And by the way, in the process of pointing this vector towards the normal, if I show you this one, I'll do this in control from here, notice that the other one is automatically pointed at the anti-normal. The normal and the anti-normal direction, let me just switch back to this one again. I don't know why I like north better, but I do. Control from here, there we go. The normal and the anti-normal direction are the two, or the only two directions in an orbit that the heading of them never changes as you orbit the body. And that's because they're perpendicular to the plane of the orbit. And if you're in an equatorial orbit, those directions will always be north and south. North, due north is, this is the north line here, you can see it. And if you put your vessel on that north line and then right on the horizon, that is due north right there, okay? And then this one's pointing due south. Now I'm gonna switch over to my other ship. Why is that useful? Well, now that I know that this is pointing due north, I now know that if I want this docking port, well, let me control it from here, to line up with it, all I gotta do is point it due south. South is a heading of 180 degrees, again, right on it. And now I know for a fact that these two are, are lined up properly. Unfortunately, our directions are a little messed up, so let's fix that up. We're going to, go to our prograde vector and I can see right away that uh, it is in the wrong direction. It's missing by quite a lot. So I'm gonna use the K key to pull it up towards our target icon right there. There we go, now. And in fact, while I'm doing this, we're gonna do the old go over here, aim the camera, select this docking port as the target, and then we'll reset the camera. So now we're aimed and going straight for this docking port but that's not really what I want. If I'm gonna dock with it, I need to come actually north of that docking port so I can come down on top of that docking port. Right now we're pointing at about, well, 94 degrees. I can see the heading right here. North is the smaller numbers. North is 100, uh, zero degrees. So, or 360 if I'm on the other side of that ball. So what I need to do is use, again, the IJK L key, this time the L key. I'm gonna move that prograde icon so it's going to the north. And now what I'm doing is I'm moving towards the north. You can see it visually that that just happened. We're going above the station by our camera. Now I also want to slow myself down. So I'm gonna put myself right onto that vector and I'm going to just press N a little bit. So I have some time to talk to you about these things. So now I know I'm kind of moving into the right direction. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put myself on the 180 like that. And again, I'm gonna select around where the docking port is. I'm gonna aim the camera there because that gives us a nice view of what is going on. So now we know we're kind of moving in the right direction. So what I want to do is still keep an eye on my nav ball. The issue that we have here is my useful icons have kind of fallen off the nav ball. Um, that's a bit unfortunate, but they will appear. And in fact, I think I'm just beginning to see the target icon beginning to show up here. There it is right here. Now, what I want to do is notice actually you can just start to see the retrograde icon here. If that this, the ship icon and the target are all in a line. You're actually moving in the right direction. I'm gonna slow myself down by pushing, I gotta look at the ship, yep, yeah, it's the J key. And what I wanna do, I'm gonna move myself a little bit forward until I start to see that prograde icon just begin to appear. I need that and my ship icon. I wanna create a line here that shows me I'm going in the right direction. And if you find this prograde icon's not showing up, that means you're not going prograde enough. Hit the H key a little bit to move a little bit prograde. Okay, and then I wanna do is steer. Yeah, uh, disappeared, so that's a little bit of H. There it is. I wanna steer that. There we go. Again, create that line. That tells me I'm moving in the right direction. And now as you get close, you can see that purple target icon moving in. You want to keep the prograde icon nearby so that you're all going in the right direction. Again, with the goal that they all be on top. Whoa, that happened fast at the end. It's hard to do this and talk at the same time. But you can see how that worked, right? So you're lining up those three icons, sort of using the prograde icon to kind of follow that target icon in until 
you're right, all three of them end up right on top of each other uh, like we had before. And there we go, we are docked. Okay, time to revert one last time. Try method number three. Now, some of you are aware that there is a docking mode right here. There's a button for it. It says docking mode. Uh, and there's this nice little graphic that seems to be incredibly useful, except it's not. The, one th the only thing that docking mode does is make it so that the what the translation keys become the WASD keys, right? And you can see it's moving this little icon around. I'm doing this with WASD instead of, but I already had buttons for that. The I, J, K, and L keys were already doing that for me. The graphic that's here gives you no useful information when it comes to meeting up with your docking port. So the docking mode is essentially, in my mind, useless. I just flat out just don't use it. But with that out of the way, Let's switch again to our station. And here's our third way. Let's say your docking port for whatever reason is pointing in a terrible, just a random direction. There we go. Let's just move it off like that. We'll make it really difficult for ourselves. It's pointing actually even a little bit away from us. And I would love to dock with this docking port. How am I going to end up doing that when this is just a random direction? Well, First of all, we got to do the same sort of things we did before. We're going to go back to here. We're going to control from our docking port. We're going to go to the station. We're going to aim our camera, if it'll let me. There we go. Aim our camera at our station. We're going to select our docking port to go to. And again, I'm deliberately selecting the one that's the furthest away to make this as hard as possible. We're going to reset our camera. You know, perhaps you're going towards a target that just you don't have the ability to switch its orientation. You're stuck with what you got. So how are we going to do this? Well, number one is we got to get ourselves going in the right direction. So let's take a look at our station. Our heading here is 67 degrees. We're sort of pointing towards the parent body. So I can, if I want, I need to end up on this side. So step number one is to move, get our ship moving towards the parent body. So we, we are gonna end up over here. So we're gonna go back to our ship. We're gonna swing around and point ourselves prograde. And we're gonna, we're going to push using the I, J and K keys this time the K key, that prograde vector just into the brown section of the nav ball towards that direction anyway. I don't need to go that dramatically that way. Okay, and again, I'm gonna point myself at it and I'm gonna slow myself down. So that's gonna be using the N key because I wanna have some time to talk with you folks. <laughs> A little bit more. Let's get half of me. There we go. That's going. So now we're roughly going in the right direction, but my orientation of my docking ports sucks. So we're going to switch back to the station. We're going to take a look at our heading. Our heading here is 70 degrees and take a careful look at a pitch of about, um, best I can guess, about negative 35 degrees. These are changing, so you got to be ready for that. But it gives us an approximate direction. If we take the 170 and we add or subtract 180, in this case we want to add, because subtracting gets us a negative number. Take 70. I'm gonna, not going with the 71. I'm going with 70. 72 now. Okay. But you just want to get approximately right. Add on the 180. Um, 70 and 180 is 100, 252. I will use that. With a pitch of negative 30, we want the opposite of that, which is positive 30. That gives us our docking port orientation. So let's do that really quick. 252 on the heading. Whoa, back. <laughs> Again, doing this very approximately and positive 30. Let's aim our camera. We're gonna have to do some more eyeballing here. I can see I'm going in the right direction. So I wanna, I wanna push myself forward. I think I've gone a little bit too far that way. And now what I'm, and now oh, I'm using my eyeballs a little bit. I wanna come up on the screen. Is that that way <laughs> there and come forward a little bit because I can see I've gone and now it's going to take some eyeballing. It's going to take some moving the camera around to sort of get a feel for whether you're going in the right direction or not. Now, one thing that is a bit of an advantage is although this heading is changing, our heading is changing. So if we don't, if we set itself, if we set it right at the beginning, we shouldn't have to change it all too much because our heading is changing. We're in the same orbit, so we're, our heading should be changing in the same way. Okay, I'm starting to see my target icon come into view. See that? 
So I want to sort of move towards that. Imagine you're moving the bird icon towards it. So, you know, I need to come toward, now I got to come a bit left. I'm just sort of steering it in. Uh, I can see I'm coming too fast. There it is. Oh, and now I can start to see my prograde. Let's give ourselves a little bit of prograde. There it is. <laughs> and this might take this takes practice to do this I'm not saying that this is easy but I've gotten that line see that and once I got that line the rest of this is easy I can just use the prograde vector to follow that purple icon in there we go again with the idea of trying to get all three of them on top of each other just as we're coming together and I'm spending a lot whoa there we go I spent a lot of time there looking at the nab ball, not looking at anything else. But you can see here, we are docked, we are there. Our station has its first residence. So why don't we take this opportunity to quickly summarize what we looked at in this video. Number one is to make sure that you are controlling your vessel from the docking port and to set the other docking port as a target. Number two is to look at your prograde vector on the nav ball and make sure that it is going in the direction that you need it to go. Number three, align your docking port so that it is opposite to your target's docking port using one of the three techniques we talked about in this video. Number four is to create a line with the ship, target, and prograde icons on the nav ball and then to follow the target icon with the prograde icon with the goal that in the end you want all those icons right on top of each other just as you're ready to dock. And then finally number six is to practice. This is a difficult but very rewarding skill in Kerbal Space Program. Give yourself permission to not get good at it right away but trust me you will get good at it. And with that, I think I'm going to be drawing this episode to a close. I hope that you found it useful. And as always, I hope to see you again next time.